I found the famous Martin Luther King speech. I have a dream to be. And used my 20 plus years in audio to try and make him sound better. I also put some modern AI tools to the test to find out if I'll be out of a job soon. Watch to the end to find out who does the best job. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Here I am inside Adobe Audition. It is a modern wonder for audio restoration. I've been using this for years and years, but now there are AI tools. So let's find out who does the best job. I'm just going to play a bit of the speech here. I have a dream. Famous. That one day. Okay, let's focus in on this. First of all, I'm going to switch on spectral frequency display. It's up here. It's this icon. It gives me the heat map of all the frequencies from bass to mid to high end hiss that's going on in this very old and famous speech. Now, if I zone right in on some silence, so not some of Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech, but the silence, you can actually see right here around the one kilohertz. Let's let's box that out around the one kilohertz area. There's a kind of bzzz, a hum. And you can probably hear that if you listen closely. There's the hum. And lots of background noise here. It's kind of like chatter and just general wind noise and everything. And up here, we've got the hiss. Really undesirable hiss. So we're going to try and clear up as much of this as we can. But that's not it. Oh, my goodness. Big challenges. Because his speech was so rousing and really got the crowd going, there's lots of this going on, too. That all men are created equal. Lots of that. That is very hard to deal with in audio restoration. Now, we can either choose to leave that clapping in. I probably will in this particular example. But later on, when we get to the AI tools, clapping can really throw artificial intelligence off. So I might show you a way to clean up the clapping if you keep watching. Uh, but first of all, let's work on a normal uh, noise reduction tool that I'd use. So I'd select a little bit of the silence between the speech here and then i'd go to effects noise reduction restoration i'd go to noise reduction process capture the noise print there it is okay now i'm going to go and switch on preview mode so we can see before up here after down here double click to select everything and look it's cleaning up nicely let's let's play a little bit back now and listen to that Live out the true meaning of its free. okay that's not too bad but i've probably put the noise reduction up a bit too much let's reduce the percentage Live out the true meaning of its creed. And then switch that off to listen to the difference. Live out the true meaning of its creed. And again, we'll listen to noise reduction here. That all men are created equal. And there's the clapping. Sounds kind of like they're inside a tin box, though, so not too sure about this particular method. That all men are created equal. Original and after. That all men are created equal. Okay, so we're doing some good stuff. But then before we get into the AI tools, let's look at this round of applause. We've got many of them. We've got clapping here. And as you can see in the heat map, we've also got clapping here. And we've also got clapping here. So the idea, if I wanted to clean out clapping, uh, it's kind of a tough thing to do because as you can see, it's it's a mix of frequencies. It's basically just a white noise of frequencies uh, from mid right the way down to low. But there is a really cool tool in Adobe Audition. It's not noise reduction, it's sound remover. So I can actually teach it the sound of clapping. <laughs> Trying to capture only the sound of clapping that we want to remove. We'll go into effects and we'll go to noise reduction restoration, sound remover, and we'll learn the sound model. Okay, can you see what it's done? Immediately it's learned the clapping and removed it from that small sample. Now if I deselect so it does everything you can see actually it's it's done an okay job but it's not really removed it all so let's go and select maybe a bigger sample and learn a bigger sample of clapping and see what exactly that does so now we're working on this now you can see it's really attacking that clapping let's play this back all men created and it's actually done a really good job listen to that that is actually pretty impressive switch it off and created there's the clapping switch it back on and let's play it again so there you go it's completely ducked out the round of applause which is amazing now obviously you can tweak this uh, for this particular example i just use the default settings in sound remover so everything here is exactly as it is do make sure enhance for speech is ticked otherwise you're going to get a bit of a robotic sound let me show you the difference 
Let's play it back. You get that kind of alien effect, so make sure that is ticked. And also, sometimes you can increase the quality of the sound removal by increasing the FFT size, so usually default is 4096. We'll move it up to the maximum, and you can see it just does uh, a little bit of a better job there on the sound removal and retaining the voice. So that's my job so far, but let's drag in some AI tools and see what's happening. First of all, we've got Descript here with Martin Luther King, and let's play the original here of his speech. I have a dream. Okay, so that's the original I have a dream. And then we can actually go in, select this audio file here. And when I do that, you'll see I get loads of opportunities to add effects. Descript, by the way, it's available to download. You can sign up for a regular plan or you can just use it to edit your audio. It's great for podcasts and noise reduction. And in add effect, there is the ability to add studio sound. Now, you can see I've already added it here. I just need to enable it. And as I've done it earlier, it's already taken the time to process. Usually it takes a minute or two to do that. Uh, so let's play back now with the studio sound on. Great. Oh, wow. I have a great. That's the wrong day. That's not quite as good as I thought it would be, actually. This nation will rise up. Okay, and then we'll we'll switch off studio sound and listen to that original again, because actually I think the original sounding better. AI is not cracking it this time. One day. This nation will rise up. No, too robotic for me. But one of the good things about Descript is they have an intensity slider. So I can actually play this back and maybe dial the intensity down so uh, he's not so robotic when he speaks. But one day, yeah. this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. And then switch it off. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Switch it on. That all men are created in now, in my opinion, that even at 69% is still doing some weird stuff there. So I'm sorry, but no, I think I can potentially do a better job. But let me know in the comments. Um, so that's Descript. Let's get out of Descript and let's bring in Adobe's project Shasta. This is still in alpha at the time of making this video, uh, but it's a great project that's improving all the time. It transcribes stuff as well. And let's look at the filters. So enhanced speech. At the moment, I'll switch it off and play back. I have a dream. So as you can hear, that's the original I have a dream. Rewind it back to the start. Filter. Enhanced speech on and play it back. I have a dream. Oh, that's not bad. But one day. This may turn away by the box. Oh dear. Lip out the Talmudian of its screen. We all of these chose to be self evident. They all men are created in. And that is really weird stuff. That's why I said you need to remove the clapping because it goes. And it's kind of like a, a chicken trying to break out of a cage kind of sound. Hmm. Strange. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I gave you a few tools there in Adobe Audition. Sound remover to remove the applause, uh, noise reduction to get rid of the background noise, the general wind noise, the hum, the hiss, all of that stuff. But a combination, I think, of audio skills and artificial intelligence can potentially make Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous speech sound even better. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and also let me know what famous speech or old piece of audio would you like me to put to the test next? Leave a comment below and who knows, maybe it'll be featured in a future video on my channel. If you've not done so already, check out musicradiocreative.com. This is where my team of 200 plus audio professionals can help you with voiceovers, radio jingles, DJ drops, podcast intros, music, ads, and much, much more. Until the next time, keep calm and produce on my friends. Radio Creative.com